Hermann Ludwig Ferdinand von Helmholtz was born in Potsdam, Prussia on August 31st, 1821. He died September 8th, 1894. He was an empiricist in the sense that he agreed with Immanuel Kant that time and space and causation were not products of sense experience but mental attributes. Sensations are given meaning by the mind, but these meanings are built up experientially. Kant stressed the importance of materialism and the unity of mind and body, although he emphasized categorizations, whereas Hemholtz opposed this view by insisting that all knowledge came through the senses. Science could be reduced to the laws of classical mechanics, encompassing matter, force, and energy. In 1838, Hermann Helmholtz went to the Frederick Wilhelm Medical Institute in, in Berlin as his family had little money. It was there where he received free medical education in exchange for military services and met his doctoral advisor, Mueller, there. Because he had a makeshift laboratory in the barracks and because of the foundational work that he created within those barracks, he had an early release due to the recognition of his talents. Hemholtz later went to the Berlin Physical Society, which was formed in 1845, with his peers. He rejected Mueller's vitalism and promoted mechanistic views that all phenomena, including neural and mental processes, can be accounted for in terms of physical principles. This applies to the principle of conversation of force to living things, where Hemholtz argued that the total energy involved in organic processes is constant. For this discovery, he was excused from further military service. Prior to Hemholtz's experiments, Mueller asserted that the nerve impulse is a vital function that would never be submitted to experimental measurement. However, Hemholtz used a recently dissected sciatic nerve of a frog and the attached calf muscle. He measured the speed by using a galvanometer as a sensitive timing device and the transmission speeds were recorded in the range of 24.6 to 38.4 meters per second which was remarkably slow. This was a great breakthrough within psychology because the implication allowed for the testing of reaction time or measuring how fast humans can think. To this day, psychological experiments rely heavily on reaction. In 1850, Hemholtz and Jung created the Jung-Hemholtz theory of trichromatic vision. Trichromatic theory implied that there were photoreceptor cells in the eyes of humans, distinctly three types, cone cells, receptive to red, green, and blue, which were consistent with wavelengths of light, which were short for blue, middle for green, and long for red. Hemholtz tried to trace sensations through sensory nerves and anatomical structures to the brain to show the complete mechanism of sensation, which led to neurology and neuroscience in the modern day. In 1851, Hemholtz discovered that he could focus the light reflected from the retina to produce a sharp image of the tissue by creating an ophthalmoscope. He incorporated this into his Handbook of Physiological Optics in 1856, provided empirical theories on depth perception, color vision, and motion perception. He summarized the current scientific understanding of optics and the importance of conscious inferences for perception. In 1848, Hemholtz was appointed a position as an assistant at the Anatomical Museum and a position at the Academy of Fine Arts in Berlin. Next year, he moved to Konigsberg in East Prussia, which is now Kaliningrad, where he became an assistant professor and director of the Physiological Institute. In 1855, Hemholtz became a professor of anatomy and physiology at the University of Bonn. He then moved to Heidelberg in 1858. In 1871, he was offered a professorship of physics at the University of Berlin, but he declined. And in 1888, he was the first director of the Physical Technical Institute at Berlin, which he held until death. 